Check this out. <laughs> that car is so pretty. By the way, this has 108 megapixel camera. I think the highest megapixel for a phone camera in the world. Very cool. My turn. Check this out. Wait, what? Are you going to take pics with that? Of course. Well, I have a better idea. Why don't we send this camera high up there? And these amazing phones, uh, they could be yours. Do watch the whole video right to the end. Tell me, how do you plan on getting a phone onto Dare to Leap? I don't plan on doing anything, Ninja. The Defender here plans on taking us places and the Defender will take this camera phone high up there. Does it make sense? <laughs> no, it doesn't. I'm kind of lost. I mean, the very car that has done multiple barrel rolls in a James Bond movie is the almighty Defender right now in our hands. So what you're saying is the Defender barrel rolled its way out of a James Bond movie yes. and onto power drift screens. It's a very special place to be. Just look at the commanding position, the exactly. amount of eyeballs, the amount of neck it's turning, like mm -hmm. that person mm -hmm. there again, it's it's immense. This seems like that kind of a car which will break more German necks than James Bond himself. I don't think any other car on Indian roads has this kind of a road presence, period. Uh, like I'm sitting on the bridge of a ship. If ergonomics had an Oscar, then the Oscar would go to, ta-da, here, the Defender. Because just look at it, everything is so well laid out in its position. In fact, more shelves here than in your library. By the looks of it, I might probably lose this phone by the end of the day. There's so much space in here and so uh, many no, don't lose cubby that holes phone. and nooks and crannies. You're going to need that phone. So the dash itself is a grab rail. Mm -hmm. Can you count how many grab rails we have? Okay, one, two, three. I have one. Four, five, two, six, three, seven, wait. Eight, nine, <laughs> no. ten, no. eleven. It's like yeah. they almost took the book of car interior design and threw it out the window. Yeah. And then created industrial art. Tell. Exposed metal, exposed screw heads. The brochure says that the materials used on the inside are made to last for 30 long years. It's just wonderful. Uh, let's talk of the suspension. It's got air suspension, which means it's going to get that intelligent brain that's going to check, find it yeah. times a second, just to make sure that the ride quality is, is just astounding. The two-liter inline four-cylinder petrol engine out here is not turbocharged. Yes, because How's it has that? a supercharger. You know it. Ah, <laughs> that is why every time you hit the accelerator, I hear a whining sound. The snorkel has been seamlessly integrated into the A-pillar over here. You can yeah. hear that. You're... Just amazing. How oh, cool! The Defender has come a long way. Oh, we've come a long way. Do you see where we are? Do you think in that pursuit of comfort and luxury, it's kind of lost its edge? What? Some people tend to believe that the Defender is not as off-road friendly anymore. It's not as good as it was off-road. Get out. I'm saying some people, man. <laughs> no, seriously. If you think that the uh, old Defender can be compared to the new Defender, and I get it because of how bare-bone basic the old Defender was, yeah. uh, well, then we have to compare this car to that one. So get out! Let's do this. We're not really doing justice to these cars on these roads, but we are climbing up a mountain, a huge one at that. And once we get up there, you're going to see the sense to this whole exercise. You wanted to say that the old Defender was a capable off-roader, a bare-bone one, just like the one that you are in right now. What's your ground clearance? It is around 236 mm. The ground clearance on the new Defender is 220 mm. <laughs> Only. Wow! <laughs> I knew you'd say that. At the press of a button, I can raise the body height. Remember, air suspension? Well, then the ground clearance is 291 mm. But yes, that is quite impressive. What about the approach angle? It is about 38 degrees. 
the new Mahindra Thar has an approach angle of 42.6 degrees. So basically that means it has got the old defender beat, it's got your defender beat and also the Wrangler. Yep, king of the hill. The defender by the way is a monocoque chassis. Yours is a ladder frame. Once you have the Thar on its home turf which is off the beaten path, then that is where this car comes alive. See, the steering is so responsive right now. I can feel exactly where my wheels are. You can feel exactly where your wheels are? Guess what? I can see exactly where my wheels are. <laughs> okay, now he's just showing off. The biggest creature comfort, by the way, is this uh, rear view camera that is mounted on the shark fin. Uh, that right now is telling me that you're picking your nose. Yeah, well, there you go, showing off all your fancy features again. And also, could you enlighten us as to how many cameras you have on your car? One, two, three, four. My whole car is a whole big camera. The Defender sure needs them, but not the Thar. You have a proper panoramic view of the whole world around you. Panoramic view? Let me show you what panoramic view means. He's going to show off his uh, sunroof. Woohoo! Sunroof, baby! Are you going to be paying one crore rupee, you know, and then going to take it off-road? But yes, you would! Okay, I don't want to scratch the car. We don't have to worry about that part. I can deliberately scratch the car and it'll just buff out. Ow! And we are atop the mountain, by the way. Uh, Ninja, look to your right. I think we have arrived. There's no time to lose. The winds are looking good. Quickly strap on everything that there is. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, wait. Told you. No. We're going to send this camera high up in the air. And we're going to strap it onto you. Just dare to leap. Ah. Click some okay. good ones. All right, Ninja, race you to the bottom. Make sure you get a good picture of the defender on your way now. Now that is how you turn a boring Sunday into one that will be forever etched onto your memory as the day you dared to leap. Rohan got to experience the legendary comeback of the Defender, that too in its natural habitat and I got to face my fears and got some epic pictures to show for it. I'm sure this could have been done in a much simpler way without having to risk a 2000 foot drop but hey. It wouldn't have been nearly as fun. Thanks a lot for joining us on this little adventure. We'll see you again on the next one. Goodbye. I can't believe I've managed to hold on to this phone while I was up in the air. Sadly, I'm going to have to say goodbye to it because we're giving away these two phones to two lucky viewers. And here's how it goes. We've used the 108 megapixel camera on this phone to shoot three very unique moments on our video. And all you've got to do is to comment below with those specific timestamps and stand a chance to take home your very own Realme 8 Pro.